Uh, oh, sorry about my voice. I have a cold. Um, hi, my name is Maria Miller, and I'm a senior at Scott Catholic. I like it more! <laughs> and this poem is titled Tarot. I fell in love with her hands, crack stained with charcoal or oil paint as she handed me a stack of tattered tarot cards, told me to shuffle, think about what you want most, and all I could think of was her. And the night of cups woven between a broken cigarette beating between my fingers, begging us to hear the heart. On our first date, she drove her car into a ditch. You will never see a face as flushed than that of a teenage girl as while her date's father tows her mingled station wagon from a hole in the ground. She had never looked so human to me. Never so beautiful we drove, telling stories at each stoplight pit stop. I watched the moon echo off the rim of her glasses to notice how she bit her lower lip before she smiled. When I pulled the four of wands from the deck, she told me that it meant home and I folded it into the crook of her neck, tucked it between the spaces in her fingers, left it there for safekeeping. We spent our anniversary with her heaving her guts into an old paint can, an ivy tethered to her arm. If there were a way I could have found that beautiful or poetic, I would have, but home is messy sometimes. When home squeezes your hand tight and tells you that you can go, you stay. And you hold home's hair back for her. The day before she boarded for Nova Scotia School of Art and Design, we built the blanket fort for the ages. Sheets taped to walls, broomstick columns littered with tea lights, and a promise that we would still be friends. We held each other there, time suspended for a moment only because I begged it to. She laid the six of swords on the wobbling table before me, leaving behind, she said, moving on as I watched her back out of my driveway. I wished for her to encounter no more ditches in her time. Let that be mine. As she falls for some girl from Toronto, let me keep the paint can or the tarot card so when she calls me on a commonplace 2 a.m. to tell me that I am the only girl she has ever loved, I will not answer it. But when I answer it, I will not agree with her. I will not tell her that I dream of her hands, how capable they are. I will not tell her that I still smell cigarettes, sweet chapstick on her breath when I pass the Hobby Lobby on 72nd, or how the frigid wind dissipated when I heard her heart beat to the sound of wobbling kneecaps, and the beat's no longer there, and the air falls too still. I'll let my tears rust the Four of Wands until I can convince myself it's the six of swords, and I'll tell her, pick up your cards, shuffle, think of anything but me.